What's going on everyone, Mike here. Welcome to another Symphony tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about splitting checks. I'm gonna sign in and begin a check on table 11 for two guests. For the first guest, I'm gonna add a breakfast buffet. And for the second guest, I'm gonna add two over easy eggs and send it. There are many ways of splitting this check depending on what the guests want to do. Let's say each of them wants to pay for their menu items. We can use the default split check functionality, select one of the items, move it in the second check, save, confirm, and print the split check. Please note that at this time I will be asked to enter the number of guests for the new check. So I'm gonna enter one and click okay and send. Since I entered one guest on the second check, that means that the first check has one guest remaining. This way we can keep an accurate track of number of guests even when splitting checks. If you split the check by mistake or the guests change their minds, there's a way to merge them back up. We can open up one of the checks and under the function keys, we have this merge checks button. After we select it, it's asking me which check would you like to merge? I'm going to select my secondary check and I know it's this one because I see it's also on table 11 and then click OK. And now both my items are here. All I have to do is hit send. And now I have one check again. Now, let's say that the guests would like to pay this check half and half. So instead of each one paying for their own items, they just want to split it down the middle. We can approach this in two ways. One, we can manually calculate half of 3392, which will be 151696 and enter it in the computer. And then press one of the tender keys. Either they would pay by credit card, gift card or cash. And now we have 1696 left to pay with the second credit card or whatever other payment method. And the check is closed. The second way of accomplishing this is by using the share check functionality. I'm going to begin another table for three guests this time. I'm going to order a breakfast buffet for seat position one, an American breakfast for seat position two, and an avocado toast for seat position three. Next, I'm going to send the items. Let's say that our three guests are on a business lunch and each of them require a receipt with a third of the amount due. What we can do is we can go to the split check functionality and now we have two checks. Since we need three, I'm going to add one more using the add check key here. Next, I'm going to select all three of my items and use the share item button. Select all because I'm going to share all three items amongst all three checks and click yes. And now you can see a third of each menu item is split between the checks. I can save, exit, and print the checks. One guest for each one, hit send. Now I have three checks for table 11, each of them having a value of $19.08. The share check functionality can be very useful in other situations as well. Imagine two friends coming for dinner. They sit down on table 11. They order one appetizer to share. A bottle of wine. and then two main courses. One of them has the beef sliders and the second one has the veal porterhouse. At the end of their dinner, 
they request split checks. They would like to share the appetizer and bottle of wine half and half, and then each of them pay for their main courses. The way we would approach this is by splitting the check first, moving the second entree onto the second check. So now we have one entree on the left, one entree on the right. Selecting the two items that they would like to share, select share item. Select the two checks between which we want to share the appetizer and the bottle of wine and click yes. Now each check has their main course, half an appetizer and half a bottle of wine. One main course, half an appetizer, half a bottle of wine. Next, we're going to save, print the check and enter one guest. And there we have the split. Next, let's take a look at how the split check functionality interacts with seat numbers. If you are using seat positions, we'll begin our table 11 for two people. The first guest will have a breakfast buffet and an American breakfast for our second guest. Going to send these items. Then they're going to request two desserts as well. And send these as well. Because we have them on different seat positions, one, two, one, two, we can use this filter seat functionality to see, for example, only position one. This way we can see at a glance everything that is assigned to seat position one. We can clear the filter, then filter everything that is on seat position two, and also see at a glance everything that is on there. If you have a very large party, seven to 10 people, and you also have drinks and other items in here, appetizers and all kinds, the filter seat will be very helpful. Other things we can do whilst we have our menu items assigned to different seats is splitting the check by seat using the split check by seat key. Now you can see automatically the system did the split for me. And again, this is pretty easy and straightforward for two guests. But imagine you have a 10 guests table. This will save you a lot of time. Another item I really like to use is the print seat check key. If we hit this key, we're going to get two receipts in the printer with each person's items on there. This is very useful, especially for large parties. With a press of a button, you can have all the receipts split and printed. Now, please note that the print seat key will not split the check. Next, let's take a look at how everything is programmed. There are a couple of control parameters that control some of the pop-ups we were seeing when splitting checks. I'm going to type in split in my filter here so I only see the options relating to splitting checks. Option number one, enable the pop-up that said, do you want to print the checks after I split them? And option number nine was the second pop-up, the one that was asking me for the number of guests on the second check that would be created. The next item that we're going to take a look at are the roles. The roles can be found in the configuration tab at the enterprise level in the personnel section roles. I'm going to open my server role in the operations section, guest checks. And here we have the role for splitting checks. It is enabled in my case, so the servers can split their own checks. We also have roles that would allow them to transfer checks, add checks, and so on. Make sure your employees have all the roles that they need in order to perform all these operations. The next module I want to visit really quick is the menu item classes. In order to share a menu item, there is an option bit in here that says item is shareable. So I'm going to open up a menu item class, go to the option bits, 
and type in sharing. We have to make sure to enable option bit number 38, item is shareable, if we want to use that share functionality. Finally, we're going to visit page design to see how the buttons are programmed. I'm going to open my transactions page. Change the aspect ratio to 16 to 9 to match my widescreen workstation. This is our split check button. It's a function and the function is touch split. This is the filter seat function. It's just called filter seat. In the functions area, I have my split check again, but I also have a merge check key. And that function is add transfer check slew. This is the split check by seat function. It's called touch split by seat. And finally, the print seat check key is actually a tender media. So we're going to visit tender media number 605 and see how it's programmed. The key type is service total. For the option bits, I have 14, 20, 21, and 22. The most important one is number 14. This is what enables us to print seat check. If you are interested in more Symfony tutorials, we have created an entire course where you can learn everything you need to maintain your Oracle Micros POS system. And as a special thank you, I also included a coupon code for you. You can find all the details in the description below. Leave a like if you found this helpful and thanks for watching.